Hi, Josh here from MDT Customer Support. Today we're gonna to be going over an installation and we've got our LSS XL Gen 2 chassis and a fixed interface, a buttstock and pistol grip. Here's the Remington 700 short action inlet. We'll also be showcasing Savage short action and Ruger American because it will require a slightly different setup. Take your barrel to action and line up the trigger group and the recoil lug to the chassis. Once that's dropped in place, go ahead and leave it vertical so that you can fully seat the recoil lug to the recoil pocket of the chassis. In the packaging, you're gonna get two new action screws. Start with the short one in the front, and longer action screw in the rear. We're gonna take a 3 3 16 Allen wrench and for our center fire rifles, we're gonna secure those to 60 to 65 inch pound. If you have a Savage short action, what you're gonna get in the packaging is also two new action screws and an offset washer. As you can see with the offset washer, we support both 4.27 and 4.4 action screw spacing. If you have 4.4, it'll be in the forward position and you have 4.27, you'll need to move the washer to the rear position. Once you've got your barrel to action secured to the chassis, we're gonna go over our buttstock. Here today, we've got our SRS standard V5. This is our skeleton rifle stock in a fixed interface to match the back end of the chassis. We also offer the SRS light and the SRS short if you want a shorter length of pull. In the packaging for the buttstock, you're gonna get a mini buffer tube, a button head cap screw, and new Allen headset screws if you want to change out your toolless wing adjustment set screws. To start, take your mini buffer tube and thread that into the back of the chassis. To get it nice and snug, make sure you use a crescent wrench to get it tight to the chassis. Once that's secure, slide the buttstock, lining the button to the back end of the chassis. Take in the provided button head screw. Use a 532nd Allen wrench. And thread that into the chassis. And there you go. You now have your buttstock attached to your chassis. If you purchase the LSS XL Gen 2 in a carbine interface, there's three models that are compatible. We offer the CCS, the SCS Lite, and the SCS model, which I have here. The tools that you'll need to complete this build is a castle nut wrench and a 16th Allen key. First, what you're going to do is back off the castle nut and thread the buffer tube to the back end of the chassis make sure to unthread the small set screw before installing the skeleton carbine stock. So when you thread in the butt stock, what you'll do is go to tight and then back it off to where you're going to line the notch and the threading to the set screw that we have at the bottom of the interface. This will help keep the carbine butt stock in line. Once you have that tightened, and take a castle nut wrench and you're going to tighten the castle nut to the back end of the chassis. And there you go. Here we have our SCS buttstock with our LSS XL Gen 2 carbine interface chassis. We also have our MDT vertical grip and our MDT pistol grip. And today we're gonna to do the installation of the pistol grip. With the chassis, you're also gonna get button head cap screw for the pistol grip. The boss here is designed to accept most AR-15 style grips. Slide your pistol grip on top. And you're just gonna thread that all the way down until we make contact. Again, quarter turns always best friend. And there you have it fully assembled MDT LSS XL chassis. If you have a Ruger American short action, 
What you're going to do is remove the factory bolt stop pin. It's much shorter than the longer one that we provide in the packaging. After you remove the bolt stop pin, take the longer one, apply pressure, align the holes, and it'll slide right in place. Now that you have that set up, we're gonna take the provided recoil lugs, align that on the action. Next, what we're gonna be doing is installing the magazine latch because due to the positioning of the rear action screw, that's why it's separate from the chassis. You wanna make sure that the feet are pointed up. So now we're gonna take the mag latch and you're gonna apply the pressure spring to the chassis and line up the holes on the mag latch. You're gonna take the dowel pin provided in the packaging and insert it into the hole on the side of the chassis, which will then push the slave pin out of the way. Or will knock the slave pin out of the way. You can use a pin punch to drive the pin a little bit further to even out the dowel pin. And now you have Ruger American Short Action installed to a chassis.